From television phenomenon to big screen box office smash, the Simpsons movie drew huge numbers this weekend. That comes as no surprise to fans of the series who were betting it would be a big hit, dollars to donuts. Mmm, donuts. <laughs> Homer, Bart, Marge, Lisa, and company are out to save Springfield from complete destruction. Some critics say it's one of the funniest movies of the year. But critics aren't the only ones with opinions. Tonight, to review the Simpsons movie, we welcome as our critic for a day, the Bart to my Homer, <laughs> longtime Simpsons fanatic and ABC7 News reporter Dan Ponce. Dan, welcome to the it's show. It's great to be here. I've been a big fan of your work for the last uh, couple decades. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. First of all, how big a fan are you of the Simpsons? I've been a huge fan. You know, my whole life, um, I'd say, how many episodes have there been? There's probably been at least 300. I've easily seen 90% of the episodes. Well, they went on the air when you were 12 years old. They, they went on the air when I was 12, and I've been watching them religiously ever since. Yes, I know. Uh, I feel very close to all the characters. I, I consider Homer a, a second father in many well, ways. Well, listen, <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. I praise. Well, yeah. listen, I know, you're, uh, I, I know you do some Simpsons impersonations. I'm right. going to have you do impersonations of three characters, real quick ones. Okay. And let's start with Chief Wiggum. Chief Let, Wiggum. Let's see, let's right, see Chief good. Wiggum on the right, screen. Here okay. we go. Huh. Your Looney Tune is over, Drugs Bunny. God, jeez, Ralphie, what is your fascination with my forbidden closet of mystery? <laughs> All right, next one. Mo the bartender. Mo the bartender. Okay, here, here's some Mo. Mo's uh, one of my favorite characters. Okay. Ah, uh, jeez, home. I ain't never had nothing other than Duff beer, but I'm looking forward to the new import beer from Germany called Doof. <laughs> Very good. Right. And now the man himself, Homer. Okay, for, I didn't know you did a Homer imitation. I don't do a very good All right, one. well, here's my Homer imitation. All right. <clears throat> Lisa, there's no such thing as vampires. Those are only make-believe, like goblins and Eskimos. Very good. Right. Uh, listen, I've always wanted to ask you, am I more like Homer, or is your mother more like Marge? Wow. <laughs> I, I'd say, actually, neither is true. You're a little bit more like Flanders than anything else. <laughs> oh, <that's Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get to the movie. Tell me just right. a little bit more about the plot. Okay, well, as everyone knows, Lisa has been a big uh, advocate for the environment for her, uh, for her whole life. And so she basically leads a citywide effort to clean up Lake Springfield. Uh, so they clean up the lake. Mayor Quimby uh, makes a law to uh, make it illegal to dump in Lake Springfield. Uh, but there is one person who breaks that law. You can probably figure out, Mr. Homer himself. He uh, dumps some toxic wa uh, waste in the lake. And then the uh, Environmental Protection Agency essentially quarantines off the entire city. Right. And so no one can leave the city. The Simpsons, of course, find a way to leave the city, <laughs> and then they have to come back and save the whole city. It's a great story. <laughs> well, one of the, uh, the source of that toxic waste that, right. that Homer comes up with comes from a pig. He, the pig is at, a pig is at the center of the plot. <laughs> and in this scene, we see Homer having some fun with his new favorite pet. But the very best thing is that he listens to you because nothing means more than for a man to... How did the pig tracks get on the ceiling? Spider pig, spider pig, does whatever a spider pig does. Can he swing from a web? No, he can't. He's a pig. Look out, he is a spider pig. You know, it's funny, that, that scene, it... it it basically, you know, that, that was something you'd see in one of the episodes, you know, which is, which is why I think one of the reasons why I think it worked, you know, going from the, the small screen to the big screen. Well, is the movie as good as the better episodes, or is it, is it a completely new level? I think it's a new level, but I think overall it does capture... Uh, the magic of the half hour episode. <laughs> you know, I think that it, you feel like you're watching, you know, an hour 20 episode of The Simpsons. Well, yeah. in this scene, townspeople react to the news that Homer Simpson is responsible for Lake Springfield's environmental mess. You didn't listen to me after I warned you. Don't worry, nobody watches this stupid show. Hmm, what's that ominous glow in the distance? <laughs> Look, those idiots don't even know where we live. Kill! 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 No! Do you have to be a fan of The Simpsons to like the movie, do you think? I think that you need to have some understanding of the, of the characters. I think that you need to uh, know at least a little bit uh, about the family. But anyone who has been watching The Simpsons their whole lives, as I have been, I think this is required. 
uh, viewing. And but but I think that it really appeals to to every audience. And I don't think that uh, you have to be a diehard fan of the show to enjoy the movie. Uh, I think it can go both ways. You know, you say that this is like a really good episode, and yet this is a lot racier than than the, I was, the typical TV episode I was in really language and yeah. in sort of. Oh yeah, I mean the you know when I first walked in, I didn't realize that the movie was rated PG-13. You know, this isn't Family Guy. This isn't South Park. You know, The Simpsons, uh, as witty and, and clever it is, has never been anything more than PG. So I think, though, you know, within the first uh, 15 minutes, you know, the, I'm, I'm thinking in particular of a, of a scene when Bart is on the skateboard. Naked. Uh, naked. You, you realize where that, uh, that PG-13 rating came from. Is this a movie that I would have taken you to when you were five or six? <laughs> I think that it's a family movie. I think so. Yeah. But like I said, I think that uh, in that movie, I identified a little bit more with Flanders than I did with, uh, with Homer, because that's you, you're more like Flanders, Dad. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Well, in this clip, President Schwarzenegger must decide the fate of Springfield. I need to know what I'm approving. Absolutely. But on the other hand, knowing things is overrated. Anyone can pick something when they know what it is. It takes real leadership to pick something you're clueless about. Okay, I picked three. Try again. One. Go higher. Five. Too high. Three. You already said three. Six. There is no six. Two. Double it. Four. As you wish, sir. Oh, scary Oof. scene. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A lot of suspense. <laughs> Why do you think The Simpsons have lasted so long, 18 years? You know, there's something fresh every episode, and I think what's made the show so successful is that the show will focus on one of the side characters. You know, my personal favorite uh, comic book guy, Ralph Wiggum, uh, Mayor Quimby, Reverend Lovejoy. You know, they can get a half-hour episode, essentially, out of all the hundreds of side characters that they have. So there's always something fresh in every episode. And yet it's the main man, Homer, that the series keeps coming Absolutely. back to. And here we find Homer returning to Springfield from Alaska to win back his family and to save his hometown. Run! 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 Jump! Jump! Man! Man! Rest! Rest! Run! Run! Now I know we've had a rough day, but I'm sure we can put all that behind us and get... Oh, why does everything I whip leave me? <laughs> you know, even if you're a fan of The Simpsons, does, doesn't Homer ever get on your nerves? He, he never gets on my nerves. No. I don't know what to say. I love everything that he does. Everything I think that he says, everything, uh, every move that he makes is pure genius. All right. <laughs> well, let's hear what the uh, let's see what the professional critics had to say about this. Roger Ebert of the Chicago Sun Times gives The Simpsons movie three stars, saying it's funny, sassy, and intelligent in that moronic Simpsons way. Michael Phillips of the Chicago Tribune gives it three stars as well, saying, at times the film appears to have been directed by Itchy and Scratchy. Those are cartoon characters within the cartoon. But in the end, the creators figure out a way to appeal to Simpsons fans, rabid and casual alike. And J.R. Jones of the Chicago Reader recommends the movie, saying, it has plenty of laughs, plus an assortment of milestones for fans. All right, Dan, how many stars would you give it? Well, of course, the question is uh, whether or not the half-hour format can carry into the big screen. I think that it was wildly successful. I give it a strong three and a half stars. I thought some of the political humor was a little lukewarm, didn't like it so much, but the, uh, the showcasing of the characters, especially Homer, A+. Plus. Three and a half stars. <laughs> All right, good job. <laughs> I don't have to, you know, I, I can't threaten to take away your allowance anymore if, <laughs> if you've not done a good job, but anyway. Right. All right, good. Well, <laughs> we'll see how Anthony does. His time will come. <laughs> and next week, U.S. Congressman Mark Kirk is our critic for